On November 22, 1963, the United States was changed forever. History books would be rewritten, the nation would go to its knees, and President John F. Kennedy would breathe his last breath, his life cut down by an assassin's bullet. Most of you watching will know the story, and you will surely have an opinion of what truly happened that day. It happened in Dallas, Texas, just as the motorcade made its way through Dealey Plaza. Two shots would break the festive atmosphere, and those loud cracks would not only be heard in Dallas, but throughout the rest of the world. The happenings surrounding that day and the days ahead have been reported on time and again, covered and then recovered. The jury of public opinion has rained down on the events with theories, conspiracies, and firm beliefs. However, one aspect of the aftermath is not covered near as much, and perhaps you're hearing this for the first time today. John F. Kennedy's brain is missing. An autopsy was performed at Bethesda Naval Hospital in Washington, D.C. after the body had been flown back. Johnson had already taken the oath in a heart-wrenching ceremony aboard Air Force One, and the nation was already steeped in mourning. The autopsy did determine that Kennedy had been shot twice due to the massive injury to the head. A lot of his brain was already missing. The remainder was removed and placed in a white jar, noted by the doctors that it would be removed for further study. In the book End of Days by James Swanson, it is noted that the brain was put in a stainless steel container with a screw-down lid and sent to the National Archives. And on a side note, I read that book and it is one of the greatest books that I have ever read, so I highly recommend it. Here's where things get a little sketchy. The brain vanished in 1966 without a trace. So where is it now? And how did somebody get enough clearance to even get in a position to take it? Let's take a closer look. And now we go into the vast world of theories and nearly everyone has one pertaining to this story. The Grassy Knoll, we have heard about it since the tragedy took place. Many people truly believe that he was assassinated from the front, which would honestly change history as we know it. Could it have been stolen to protect those involved in a cover-up? There's a group who will say absolutely yes. Another theory, and perhaps one with just enough credibility to be true, is that it was stolen by Kennedy's brother, Robert. But why in the world would he want it? Well, only Robert would know the answer to that, but another theory is that it wasn't part of a cover-up of the assassination, but a cover-up of the president's health problems, which were withheld from the public during his life. Perhaps Robert wanted to keep those covered up in his death as well. Here's a startling thought. Unless it's been destroyed, JFK's brain is out there somewhere, and more than likely, Someone knows where it is. What say you? Why was Kennedy's brain stolen? Who has it? What are your theories? Please share them with us and let's discuss in the comments. Another video of mine will be on the screen soon. It is my hopes that you will watch it. Links to my website and Patreon will be in the description. And I will see you again soon.